Good morning, everyone. I'm Rich Lebowski, Vice President of Enterprise Solutions for Samsung SDS America and head up the financial services practice. For those of you who aren't familiar with Samsung SDS, we're a $7 billion global organization. And um, we are a sister company to Samsung Electronics. We focus on delivering mobile security software and services to the enterprise. Hi, my name is Ashley Ziak, Software Engagement Manager at Diebold Nextdoor, a global leader in connected commerce across the retail and financial industries. Many of our customers have expressed interest in enhancing their transaction security through the use of biometrics, and we're excited to partner with Samsung SDSA to demonstrate this innovative solution. And uh, live from the exhibit hall, we have Shankar Sai Babu. He's the Director of Solutions Architecture at Samsung SDSA. Uh, he'll be playing the role of a mobile banking customer today. Um, we would have had him in here, but moving an 800-pound ATM on stage was a little tricky, so we kept him in the exhibit hall. Um, so today, together with our partner, Diebold Nixdorf and Bankwell Popular, we're excited to showcase what we believe is the first completely cardless, pinless ATM transaction. While other banks have uh, unveiled cardless transactions using a, a mobile application, these have required the use of a PIN or an OTP or a one-time password. But the demo that we're going to show you not only eliminates the use of the card, it eliminates the use of the PIN or the OTP, which we believe will significantly improve the customer experience and maintain a high level of security. The solution that we're going to show you today runs on a Samsung device, an Android-based device, but this can easily be extended to other Android and iOS devices through the use of QR codes versus near-field communications, or NFC, which is what we're going to demonstrate today. The average U.S. household withdraws cash from the ATM approximately 45 times per year, spiking every two weeks when they get their paychecks. Um, and in addition, the ATM install base continues to grow and is expected to exceed 3.5 million by year 2020. <laughs> Meanwhile, skimming attacks continue to grow with an average loss of $50,000 per attack, not to mention the potential impact to brand reputation. We want to ensure that these transactions are quick, convenient, and secure. Samsung SDS recognizes that passwords and pins are a major source of frustration for users, and they're also expensive for enterprises to manage. We developed our biometric authentication uh, platform called NextSign to reduce the reliance on easily forgotten credentials such as pins and passwords, and replacing them with convenient and secure customer authentication through the use of a non-duplicative biometric template. Our clients have told us that the SDK we provide is easy to implement and they're able to biometrically enable their mobile and online applications in a matter of days or weeks and not months. Our approach leverages the Fast Identity Online or FIDO standard, which is based on public and private key cryptography. With FIDO, the biometric template and the private and public key are encrypted using the most secure uh, form of encryption on the device. And the, and the private key and the template never leave the device. They're actually encrypted and then stored within the operating system of the device to, so they can't be intercepted by a hacker. The public key that's created is sent to the FIDO server, which sits behind the enterprise firewall. So even if the device is lost, the biometric template really can't be used because that, private, that public key that sits on the FIDO server can be deprovisioned, leaving that biometric template relatively useless. This is very different from the old approach, which is uh, based on server-side authentication, where biometric credentials are stored on servers behind banks and financial institutions' firewall, which creates an attractive repository for hackers. So the FIDO standard is, is much emerging. There's over 250 companies worldwide that are now part of the FIDO alliance. And with our platform, uh, you can use a variety of different modalities. So you can use fingerprint, facial, voice recognition, we're also going to show you a behavioral uh, uh, biometric uh, modality today that you won't be able to see, but it's running in the background that actually recognizes how you type and can authenticate you based on that. Um, the modalities can be combined for step-up authentication. So for example, combining a keyboard with a facial recognition or combining face and voice, for example. Combining these message in me methods ensure a high level of security and authentication for the user and helps the bank mitigate risk. So let's go turn to Shankar here and show you how this actually works. So as I mentioned, he's in the exhibit hall with our ATM. And he has, uh, let's imagine for a minute he's on his way home. And he decides that he wants to 
pre-stage this cash withdrawal from the mobile banking application. So as you can see, he's entered his first and last name, and then he's going to click the login button. And you can see that a fingerprint uh, sensor now is being requested. The keyboard authenticator that I mentioned is a dynamic keyboard authenticator running in the background. It didn't recognize the way he typed his, user, his, his first and last name, so it forced him to do another biometric authentication using a fingerprint. Now Shankar is going to click the Get Cash button, and he's going to stage an $80 withdrawal using the mobile banking app. He then will receive confirmation that the transaction's been pre-staged. And then if he was in his office, he could just log out. And you know, when he comes back to the ATM, he'd log back in. So now imagine Shankar is now at the ATM. So all he has to do to get his cash transaction completed is to tap on the NFC panel. Uh, first, he hit an icon on the app, and then he tapped to the NFC panel. And that established the communication between the, the mobile app and the ATM. The ATM prompts him to withdraw cash, and he's clicking yes on the ATM. And then um, he's going to get an authentication request to do a facial scan to complete that transaction. As you can see, that facial scan was very, very fast and secure. And it completed the transaction. Um, and now the, the money is being dispensed from the ATM. So just to, while that's happening, let me further explain that when Shankar prompted the NFC tap, he initiated a request from the ATM to its authentication server. And that server sent a notification to the app to request, to request that facial authentication. And then once authenticated, the transaction is now complete. So in closing, I'd like to recap how easy and convenient it was for Shankar to stage that transaction and then retrieve cash from the ATM. Uh, as you can see, using biometrics instead of a PIN or a password is convenient, secure, and uh, as I mentioned, biometrics offers that financial institution greater flexibility uh, through the use of various modalities in an effort to mitigate risk. So on behalf of Samsung SDS, Diebold, Nixdorf, and Banco Popular, we'd like to thank you for listening. Please pass by our, our demo kiosk. We can show you this live in action. We're also going to be showing some other solutions around uh, identity, identity verification and customer onboarding, which we think are integral to the digital banking experience. Finally, you'll have a chance to win a, a Samsung uh, smartwatch. So come on by, and we look forward to talking to you. Thanks a lot.